has made it to be. Now, I want to talk about Ecclesiastes chapter 3. It talks about time for everything. I know that a lot of us know that chapter, we know the verses, we know what it's talking about. But to be honest, a lot of us do not really understand what that particular chapter says. It's, it's by far the, it's one of like the easiest chapter to say, it's easier to recite. But it is very difficult to hold on to that chapter. I mean, difficult to really believe in what that chapter says. Because that chapter kind of, it kind of represents what is really going on right now, mostly in our lives as individuals. A lot of us, as a matter of fact, one thing we do not know is that no two things can happen at the same time. And majority of us do not know that. No two things can happen at the same time. Everything happens at its own time that God has planned it, that God has constructed it, that God has manipulated it to be. And, you know, you talked about something. You talked about God's creation. And I picked something here because if we look at this God's creation, you can tell that even God created things at a certain time. He did not just create everything at the same time. It is in line with what I just said. No two things can be can, can, can happen at the same time. God decided to create things at a, diff 